on us everywhere. Start recording. So. Okay. Okay. Cool. So yes, I love your Morganas. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> There's four Morganas here with you and yours. Holy. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Actually, five if you count me. Oh, I was counting you. Oh, I wasn't counting the background. Background. Oh, right. There's five. Oh, my God. We have five more Ghanas today. <laughs> That's, like, maybe a little too much, to be honest. <laughs> no, you can never have too many more Ghanas. It's crazy. I love it. Yeah. So cute. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is, like, a, I don't know why this is so funny right now. Mm -hmm. Um, Clearly, I haven't left my house much. In the past. Um, yeah, I'm like a mole person now, but I pretend that I am fancy. I buy makeup more than I used to just because of streaming. <laughs> Literally same. <laughs> I have, I bought like, okay, so there was like a Lisa Frank Morphe collaboration. Uh -huh. <laughs> I had to buy that because I used to love Lisa Frank. Then there was like a Friends collaboration with like makeup revolution and then I bought all of that and then I'm obsessed with urban decay and so I always buy their stuff anyway uh-huh <laughs> I have like a cardboard box of makeup and I haven't even opened it yet wow <laughs> yeah, I know it's pretty bad um but I did all buy it all in the last like three weeks so I feel like I still have time yeah I feel like now that we're at home I have time to actually learn how to do makeup so I've been buying more. <laughs> okay, so your makeup yeah. is really cute right now. Thank you. I've been trying to learn. My sister bought me like eyeshadow and I was like, I don't know what that is. So <laughs> she was like in her sorority. So she knows how to do everything. And I'm like, I was an anime person. I don't know how to do any. <laughs> but not a cool cosplayer, which also would have taught me how to do makeup. But no. Yeah, I was going to say, like, there's some pretty incredible cosplayers. Like, I know. They do such good makeup. I joined TikTok, and I, like, keep watching all these cosplay videos. My entire For You page is now just dogs and cosplay, because that's all I keep liking. Right. Yeah, it's pretty great. <laughs> I just downloaded TikTok. Um, yeah, I followed you. It was oh, very exciting. Good. Thank you. I put up one video. You're welcome. I have, like, ideas for other ones, but I just haven't done them yet. I have ideas, too, and I have, like, I have, like, five that I want to make, but I haven't had any time because they take, like, a little prep because, I don't know, I feel too awkward to just do the ones where I'm, like, watching, you know, duetting with someone else and, like, reacting. I feel like I look weird, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> That's, like, advanced TikTok for me right now. I feel like I'm still, like, figuring out figuring out like what it actually is oh me too I uh, half the buttons I'm like what does this do I've accidentally followed people a few times because I thought I was just going to their profile and then I felt too bad to unfollow them so I'm like okay they follow you now <laughs> I'm sure they wouldn't even notice if you unfollowed them true but like it's nice to have more followers so there you go now now you've got another one <laughs> very true yeah Ooh, what are you drinking I have a coffee. It's like a specialty mocha from some like local coffee shop nearby that Luke is obsessed with and I can't remember the name of. Very nice. Yeah, we've been trying to, you know, help out the local businesses. So all the like mom and pop owned ones. <laughs> I know. It's getting a little crazy out here. You know? Yeah, yeah. So the, the world is scary. It is scary. I miss, I miss seeing you in person. <laughs> I know, likewise. Uh, I, I I kept having people in the last few months be like, Gus should meet Cassandra's cats. And I was like, well, we can't see each other. So, like, first of all, we can't. And second of all, I don't know that her cats would like that. <laughs> yeah, so one of my cats, he's actually here. I'm going to just pick him up and show <gasps> you. Yay, yes. He wants to be let out right now, but <laughs> this guy. <gasps> Oh, so fluffy. There he is. Um, so fluffy. The shy one, and he hides all the time. So if you brought Gus over, you wouldn't even see him. Oh. But my other one, little guy, the black and white one, he's uh -huh. pretty friendly. He's never encountered a dog, like, to my knowledge, so I actually don't know what he would do. Gus loves cats. He's, like, obsessed with cats. He wants to be friends with all the cats that he meets. But he's too energetic. So cats are like, no. Like, I don't want to be near you. 
But Gus is like, no, I'm friendly. I just want to lick your face and wag my tail and bark at you. <laughs> like, okay. Oh, my God. Yeah. So he's pretty cute, but he's too aggressive with his love. Yeah. <laughs> he's not aggressive, aggressive. Just yeah. too much love coming out of him. That's so funny. I feel like that's like a metaphor for life. Like, <laughs> if you want something too bad, you actually push it away. Yeah. Like, yes. <laughs> He has never learned that lesson, unfortunately. <laughs> I just got him a persona collar, actually. I wish he was up here. I could show it off. Let me tell Luke to bring him up here. Yeah, yeah. I want to see this. <laughs> I have my persona hat or my little Morgana hat here. Oh, I have that somewhere. Gus, I have two. Gus chewed the eye off of one of them. Oh, no. So I have another one. <laughs> yeah, he's so cute. Now there's six Morganas. <laughs> oh, my God. Way too many Morganas in one stream. <laughs> All right, I'm saying, can you send Gus up real quick? Woo! Your assistant. Oh. I mean, your yes. <laughs> he's working. He's working, though, so he might be like, no, I'm busy. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Entertainment industry. Work every day, even the weekend. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm in LA. I feel like so many people, like, when they visit LA, they think that like, the big joke is, like, nobody has a job, like, nobody's yes. working. Yes, which I'm, like, it's the exact opposite, you guys. It's just different, because, like, you'll see people, like, out and about in coffee shops at, like, two in the afternoon, mm -hmm. but it's just because a lot of people don't have regular hours, or yeah. they're working at the coffee shop. Yeah, yeah, and, like, I mean, if you're, like, for instance, an extra, a lot of times your hours will just be, like, all night. So then your day is free. <laughs> Did you ever so. do extra work? No, because I didn't want to be on set all night. So I was like, no, thanks. I don't, I'm, I don't want to. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. It like kind of seems fun, but yeah, no, no. It's a long day. Yeah, that's the problem. It seems yeah. very long. I did it a couple times in New York. Um, yeah, you're basically just like sitting around all day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they might use you for like a second and then you're just walking around in the background. Yeah. So I was like, mm. yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> Any on camera work? No, I've been thinking about maybe looking into it. Cool. I was actually before the pandemic this year was going to be my year that I kind of like looked into it, but then the pandemic happened. So I was like, never mind. I'll just do voiceover still. Yeah. Um, but yeah, when I was in college, like I had some, uh, I had a professor that was like, you're too tall to ever be anything like good on camera. And it like messed up my <laughs> mentality about it. So I never really tried. But now that I'm older, I'm like, I know that's not true because there are tall actresses. Uh, yeah, there are. Yeah, I like, I worked with Jane Lynch on an animated musical movie that's not out yet. Um, yeah, and she was so cool, and she, like, invited us to her house for dinner, and it was amazing. So I, like, hung out with her for a night, and she's, like, slightly taller than me, and she's been in, like, a gajillion things, and I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. That was a lie. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes, um, I, uh, sometimes professors just get it wrong. Yeah, and you know when you're, like, 19 or 20, it's like, you're, you're like, you must know. You know, you're, you're the acting teacher. Well, he wasn't like the acting teacher. It was like the directing teacher, but still like, I don't know. I thought he knew. So I yeah. gave up. <laughs> so I, that happens so often and it's such a shame. My cat yeah. is ruining my Zoom background right now, but I feel with that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. I had an acting teacher once tell me that my voice was too high <laughs> and I needed to learn how to lower it, <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> which is like, yeah, I do have a higher pitched voice. Uh huh. Yeah. But it ended up being the thing that like worked for me, though. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's so funny. I feel like so often you hear those stories of like people are told to change the one unique thing about them, and then yes. that unique mm -hmm. thing ends up making them like making their career or like making them noteworthy. Yeah. A lot of times I hear stories about people being told to change like their accents. And I'm always like, no, don't change that. <laughs> like yeah. that makes you so unique. I don't know. Yeah. 
Yeah. Or it's, um, wait, it's unfortunate. Was, what was I gonna say? There was. Uh, I had another. I can't remember what it is now. Yeah, I, the re the reasoning for why I was told I was too tall was because most men actors are short, <laughs> and they cast the man first, and then they don't want a like woman that makes him look short because they want him to look tall on camera. So I was like, well, <laughs> I mean, maybe sometimes that's true, but yeah, that sucks. Yeah, there's also like a ton of different areas of acting. That you mm -hmm. can, like maybe that's true for like some film. Thing. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. I'm sure they weren't even thinking about voiceover. No. They, oh, no. When I was in college, I, like, hid the fact that I wanted to do voiceover because it was considered not real acting. Oh. But now, now I've gone back to, like, speak at my college a few times because they're like, wow, come, come teach, like, a little guest class. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> That's awesome. At least yeah. I it now. Yeah. It's pretty exciting. I, I think I've opened their eyes, which I feel like is a good accomplishment. And a lot of their students there say that they want to be voice actors when they graduate now. And I'm like, that's cool. That, that was not cool. a thing back when I was there. Yeah. Do you, <laughs> which college did you go to, do you want to say? Yeah, I went to Cal Poly Pomona. Oh, okay. I like, uh, yeah, I like, it was a pretty good experience. I like most of the, like, people that were in the department there. <laughs> there was just a couple, you know, here and there experiences where I was like, oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I feel like that's pretty normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's a deer. Puppy delivery. Thank you, puppy delivery. Oh my gosh! Hello, come show off your persona collar. Oh no, I'm frozen. Oh no, unfreeze. Oh no, unfreeze. Gus is okay. here. There you are. All right. <gasps> okay. So, Gus, you gotta show off your persona collar. So we gotta move this bandana. Okay, so Pawsonify sent us a persona <laughs> collar. Pawsonify, that is so cute. <laughs> yes. Okay, so, okay, baby. Rah. All right, so I'm not sure if you can see. Here's the star, which is like in the persona style. Why is he so cute? I know, he just got his hair cut. He's so cute. And then here, it has like the star pattern on the collar. Oh, very cute. See? Yeah, like the background in your background. Yay! Oh your persona dog. Now everyone will know that you're my dog. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! Lady on has a dog. I do. Yes. yes so Mona, Mona would be so upset. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mona's a little jealous right now. Not gonna. Uh huh. I know, and I have so many, so many around me, <laughs> surrounded by Mona's. Good boy, buddy. Okay. <laughs> He's like, please, I don't want to, I don't want to be on camera. Oh, are you stuck? Gus, go out this way. Go out this way. Go out the other way. There's a bag in the way that way. Where'd you come up with the name Gus? So he's named after um, the character Gus in Psych. Oh, okay. Yeah, because when we first brought him home, we were like really into Psych. So we were watching it on basically a marathon all the time. Mm -hmm. And Gus would always pay attention when Gus was on screen. He was like, oh, that's, that's someone I care about. So we were like, maybe we should name him Gus. I love that. Yeah. I love when animals kind of like name themselves. Yes. And he really is a Gus. I mean, sometimes he acts more like Sean, but he's, <laughs> he's a Gus. <laughs> that's cute. My that's other is that maybe he was named after one of the mice in Cinderella. Oh, yeah. We do call him Gus Gus a yes, lot. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> good boy good boy Gus Gus yeah Love it. he's trapped up here now he doesn't know what to do you want to hang out with Mona there you go yes he does he Love doesn't that. he doesn't particularly like the Mona stuffed animals but <laughs> I think because they're almost as big as him and he doesn't like that oh, he's like slightly frightened yeah and the big eyes I think freak him out oh, like, yeah <laughs> He's the one that has to have the biggest eyes. And it's very upsetting very and something bad. else. He has very huge bad. eyes. Whenever I post any like pictures or videos, there's always one person that's like, oh, you have to take him to the vet for his eyes. And I'm like, do you think I've just never taken him to the vet? Yeah. Like ever? <laughs> uh, his eyes are fine. Don't worry. He's fine. He's just weird. He's yeah. just. Some of us just have big eyes. Yeah. He's just kind of a strange dog. His back legs sometimes lock up and his eyes are big. <laughs> And he's a little bit weird. That's why we got him, because nobody else wanted him. And we were like, we will take the broken puppy. Give him. 
Aww. we want. <laughs> yeah. So I know. I was very concerned that nobody, I was like, what happens if nobody takes this dog? And they were like, we don't know. And I was like, give him, give him to me. Oh He's mine. God. They don't know. That's like shady. I know. Right. I was like, uh, okay. I will have him please. <laughs> That's how I got Jocko. He was, like, the last in the litter. Oh, There was a big, like, kitten adoption event, and we were, like, a day late to it. Oh! <laughs> we were, like, the only kitten left. <laughs> like, no one wanted him. Oh, that's so sad. That's like that scene at the beginning of Oliver and Company. Have you seen that? <laughs> no, but... Oh, my God. It starts with Oliver in, like, a box of kittens, and all the other kittens get taken, and then nobody takes Oliver, even though he's the cutest. And then it rains, and the box breaks, and he gets lost, and then the movie starts, and it's really sad. Oh, my gosh. I don't know if I can handle that right now. It was really sad. I mean, the rest of the movie's... I mean, it's actually kind of sad, the rest of the movie. Yeah. But there's some not sad parts, so... Okay. That's good. That's good. It's a musical. That's good. Yeah. Music. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Gus has resigned himself to just laying here now. Yeah. Jocko was just like settled in my lap. <laughs> I don't know why he chose this moment, <laughs> but we're here. So he he knew that there was a lot of a uh, talk about cats going on and like this is for me. Yeah. He's like, I see cats everywhere. It must be my time my conversation <laughs> except not a cat not a cat right oh yeah he's not a cat no. not a cat <laughs> cats around yeah <laughs> uh, so let's talk a little bit about strikers <gasps> strikers i'm so excited yeah i've been like dying to talk about it everyone i uh, i am sure you have to do this too but people have been like tweeting me about scramble for like you know a year and I have to just pretend I don't see any of their tweets <laughs> so awkward because yeah sometimes you're like oh like they they know what's up uh-huh like, I just want to tell them that it's coming or like oh, right they seem so angry it's not here I know <laughs> I want to tell them it's gonna be okay I know every once in a while someone will be like I hope you dub it and I'll be like I hope so too <laughs> yeah meanwhile we yes did. we already did Little do you know, but I can't tell you that. <laughs> uh, but yeah. What was your, so we did, we recorded it during quarantine, basically. Mm -hmm. So like, what was that experience like for you? Um, that was one of the like earlier things that we did in quarantine, I think, right? I feel like we did it in like April, maybe? Yeah, it started early. Yeah, because I feel like it was about Oh, yes, I remember. It was, like, about to start, right, when quarantine went into effect. Mm -hmm. And then we had to, like, kind of put it on hold. Yeah. Thinking that we would just go back into the studio in a couple weeks, and then we didn't. So we had yeah. to come up with, like, a plan B. Um, but, yeah, it was, uh, it was nice that PCB sent a rig, because I was still getting, like, my setup set up at the time, since it was so early on. Um, so, like, my stuff sounded good enough that I was, like, working on other things, but yeah. it made me feel a little, like, better to know that we were all using the same stuff. Yeah. They sent over, like, the microphone. They sent over the computer so they would, like, engineer on their end, and I didn't have to touch anything, which was yeah. nice. Yeah, that felt, was really nice. Yeah, it felt more like being in a studio than me trying to figure out audio in my closet <laughs> mm -hmm. and having engineers be like, are you recording at string of numbers and I'd be like uh maybe, maybe? <laughs> probably I don't know <laughs> yeah <laughs> so yeah it was fun I was I was excited that we were doing it I didn't realize how much story there was gonna be there was a lot yeah I thought it was kind of like I don't know I thought it was gonna be more like a beat em up kind of just you know side quest kind of situation but then it's like a real sequel with like a lot of story yeah it was cool i liked that they did that me too because i think you know the characters like are so beloved right now mm -hmm. and you know like whenever i come upon a series or anything that i really really love i just want to see like where does it go next where does it go next me too mm -hmm. so, like i want to see them like do other things and like just kind of explore their world even more. Yes. So I think this really gave us a chance to do that. Yeah. 
Mm. Yeah, it was, it was so, the story's really good. Like, I, as we were going through, I was like, oh my gosh, what's going to happen? And they're like, we won't tell you. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we basically found out what was happening, like, as we were recording it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. A, a lot of times when I'm really excited, when I'm recording a project, I'll be like, what's going to happen? But then a lot of times if the director knows I'm excited, they're like, I don't want to spoil it for you. So you'll find out later. And I'm like, ah, darn you. <laughs> Isn't that cool, like, to discover things, like, as your character discovers them? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, it really helps me with, like, the natural reactions to everything. Mm-hmm. And Same. Yeah, it helps me, like, get into the character more. Yes. I think that's why the directors are always keeping things from me. <laughs> even though I just want to fan out about them right then. <laughs> so yeah, it was, it was fun. It was really cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad we got to do it. We can't really say anything. I know. I'm like, I can't go into details about anything, but it's really fun. Yeah. Cool. I mean, the trailer, I loved the trailer. Yes, the trailer was so good. I got really excited hearing our that part where one after another we're saying like that speech being like we are the phantom thieves or like whatever and I was like yay we're all back together it's so cute <laughs> yeah it's cool it is like getting back together with like old friends yes I like really like this cast a lot and I like the team of like the directors and PCB everyone over there and Atlas and yeah. I, I just it's it's really cool to be a part of it and that they're still making more. Yeah. So, yeah. They should make more, more now. I know. Don't, don't announce Persona 6. <laughs> yeah. Maybe another, like, 10 years of Persona 5. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Please, please. We really want more. I know. I mean, uh, I don't even know how they decide are you laughing at this hump of fur right now yes <laughs> Look at me it's so big it's huge very yeah. fluffy it's so fluffy <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know like how they decide or like I mean you would think that they would keep going with it because people like it so much so, like yeah I mean that's what I would do personally yeah. <laughs> I, I always see people joking. They're like, we want Persona 5 racing. And I'm like, honestly, down. I would love it. <laughs> so, I mean, or like a cooking game. I, I, anything. I would, I would be down for anything. Really cool. <laughs> yeah. <A cooking> game. <laughs> <laughs> they like open a, or they have to take over uh, LeBlanc for like the summer. <laughs> that is so cute. Yeah. <laughs> Atlas, come come talk to me. I've got ideas. Yeah, right here. Eric is mm -hmm. picking them all right now. <laughs> I've got great ideas for me not having to give up this character for another 10 years, please. <laughs> so, like, I feel like when you have a good character like this that is, like, has depth and is very dynamic and, like, the story's good and yeah. you just don't want to let it go. Yes. Yes, there's, like, a lot of content out there right now. And you've worked on a lot of stuff throughout your career, but mm -hmm. like when you find that one character that you just love. Yeah. Yeah. Like and it's like all the characters in Persona have such arcs that like, you know, they're not like the same character they were when they started, which is so cool. A lot of times, you know, a character stays pretty much the same throughout the story and in like some of the stuff I work on which is fine I like them but I love when they change and they have arcs and it's like such good acting moments they're so fun yeah yeah PCB really lets us like act for these two you know they they're kind of I don't know they just let us do whatever we want whatever feels good yeah they, <laughs> they don't like over direct mm -mm. no a lot of leeway like if I want to even if they have a take that they like, like, if I want to try something different, they just let me, like, just... Yeah. Yep. I don't know about, you, but, like, sometimes when I'm recording, like, I just need to say things a certain way. Like, I just need to get it out. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll end up choosing that take. Like, I just feel like I need to say it. Yes. Character, so. Yeah. Yeah. That's happened with me before. Yeah. They yeah. 
And sometimes you think you're going to say it one way, but it comes out different. And you're like, no, that was wrong. Can yeah. I do it again? And they're like, that sounded good. And I'm like, no, that wasn't good though. I was wrong. <laughs> but it's all like part of the process. Uh-huh. You know, yeah. like finding, finding the scene and finding like that one line. I mean, so, you know, a lot of the times we have to record like line by line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but I really like like the exploratory part of acting. Especially yes. like acting because like, you know, you can't do that on stage. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, on a film or something. So uh-huh. Yeah. It's cool that PCB does let us do that. Yeah. It's so nice. It's uh yeah. I just love going in for those sessions. I guess doing them from home now. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> totally different now. But yeah, super, super different. But I feel like I've gotten used to it at this point. I have a booth in my house now because, you know. Yeah, that's six, great. Yeah, six months went by and I was like, okay, I guess this is life. I'll just, whatever, here, I'll get a booth. <laughs> so. It's a good investment. And well, and I was starting to feel like really down about recording in my closet, you know, like I would go to work, but it was just in my closet. Mm -hmm. And I was like, this is really a bummer. I'm spending eight hours in here and it sucks and there was no ventilation so it get really hot and then now having a booth at least when I'm in there I can be like okay I'm in a recording booth this is I'm at work you know it's I don't know it feels different even though it's still five feet away from where I was before <laughs> totally Completely. yeah I get it mm -hmm. I'm so glad you have that I still have my closet <laughs> yeah <laughs> I mean, that's more, that's better financially to keep the closet. It was, it was quite an investment to get the booth, but. If I could have a booth, I would, but the problem is I actually tried to move a booth into my place like a couple years ago. Uh-oh. It wouldn't fit. <laughs> oh no. Like down the hallway to like the bedroom that I wanted to put it in. Oh, um, that sucks. It was bad. It was a bad day. <laughs> oh, no. And then I had to like, give it back. Oh, um, that sucks. I know. And then, like, I know now, like, I could get, like, a studio bricks or something that comes yeah. with little pieces. But now, because of the pandemic, my husband is working out of the second bedroom. Oh, uh-huh. Where would we even put the booth at this point? <laughs> like, I don't want it to be just, like, in our living room. Yep. Yeah. I I took over our second bedroom, so our my booth is here, and then my streaming setup is here, and Luke is working basically uh, on the kitchen counter. That's where he has his setup, which is a bummer. Um, we need two offices, clearly. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it's hard. I don't know. Yeah. Like at one point, he'll end up going back to work, and then it'll free up the second bedroom, and then... Mm -hmm. In there but then at that point if he's going back to work like am I going to be going back to work more too yeah it's so uncertain and I'm like yeah I, I mean half the reason I thought getting a booth was a good idea is because even though we're like a floor away from each other if I'm screaming and he's on like a zoom meeting with a client <laughs> and I was in the closet it was like uh, they could hear me and then sometimes if he was talking loud I could like hear him and I was like you gotta have your meeting quieter Mm -hmm. So I'm glad that we got this this big monstrosity in here now. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know how long I'm gonna use it because as soon as I mean it's safe. I guess not as soon as, but once we all start going back to work, I prefer working in the studio. Yeah. So I don't know, <laughs> but at least I'll have it in case something yeah. happens again. I'll have it, and it's yeah. good auditions for sure. Yeah, that's true. And, and maybe I'm kind of hoping that the industry will be a little changed where like if, if an actor is sick, but you still sound good, maybe you could do a remote session instead of just giving up your role, you know, yeah. or coming in and pretending you're not sick and getting everybody else sick. Yeah. So. Yeah. And it also saves a lot on like, cause some of the studios are farther away than others. Oh yeah. So, <laughs> it would save a lot on the driving. That's true. During like rush hour, then you spend like 90 minutes getting home. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, there's definitely been times where I've spent like two hours getting to a studio and like an hour and a half getting back. So it's like a whole half of the day just driving to and from. And one time that happened and I had like a 30 minute session. So I was, that's why it was so, I was still in rush hour when I went back. That's why I was like, oh. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> LA problems. Yeah. Yay. No more though. Nobody's out now. That's true. Definitely. Though sometimes when I go to the store, I'm like, why are, why is everybody driving? Where are you all going? Yeah. It's like hit or miss for me. Mm-hmm. I feel like sometimes I go out and I'm like, whoa, where did everybody go? Yeah. <laughs> sometimes I'm like, where are you going? Yeah. <laughs> right? I know. I feel like I only go to the store. Yeah. I like once every week or two to get supplies. Yeah. <laughs> Pandemic supplies. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, it's not, I don't know. There's people people around just like playing soccer. I'm like, what are you guys doing? Yeah. So. People. I do wonder about them. Yeah. Okay. But hopefully soonish. I mean, we like moved our wedding ceremony to next October. So I'm like, okay, fingers crossed. It actually happens this time. We like got married anyway, but we didn't have a ceremony yet. So. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, we we like eloped on the day we were supposed to marry this year because we were just like, whatever, we just want to do it. Yeah. And then, but we can't, we couldn't have anybody there, obviously, because yeah. it's not safe. So we moved the ceremony and I'm like cautiously optimistic that by next October, yeah, everything will be good. <laughs> I think it will. I mean, I, I think, think so. Today that the FDA approved a vaccine for yeah. emergency use. Uh, yeah, what does that mean? What that means is aren't we in an emergency? Is that now? Do we do we use it now? Is this an emergency? Right? Yeah, <laughs> feels like an emergency, yeah. but it's a dire at times. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see. <laughs> I think you guys will be okay. Yeah, I was also supposed to go to Japan for my honeymoon, which is like. Okay, so I'm, like, upset about the ceremony, but not as upset about the honeymoon. I mean, not as upset as I am about the honeymoon, because I wanted to go to Japan so bad. So, come on, next year, come on, please. I want to go to all the persona spots. I think once, like, everything's open, people are going to be, like, hopping on planes. Yes. Like, left and right, like, yes. <laughs> I know, I know. So I'm like, oh, okay, it's going to be really crowded. But... I want to go anyway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> take photos in all of the persona places. Yes, that's my plan. I told Luke, I was like, okay, so obviously our honeymoon is for just us. We're not really going to be on social media at all, but there's going to be one day where I'm going to have you take pictures of me in the persona spots. And he was like, okay, that's fine. <laughs> so, yeah. I, that. I, I definitely think you should do that. Yeah, I think so. I was like, I'll have a day for that. And then you can pick a day where it's like, we do whatever you want to do. We just go wherever you want to go. And he's like, okay. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. The other days will be both of us deciding what to do together. You know, <laughs> compromise, marriage. Yeah. It's like <laughs> you're already on your way to having an amazing marriage because so much of it is about compromise. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> and like, him accepting working in the kitchen while I took over the office. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. It kind of by default, I felt bad because with recording, I had to have like at least a closet space and that was the office. So I just by default won. <laughs> so. That's like, I feel Oops. like I lost in the work from home. Yeah. <laughs> Still in the closet in our bedroom. Yeah, oh no. <laughs> uh, not forever. And, no. you know, I'm just happy that we can still do what we love to do. Me too. I feel like voiceover has really, the amount of, like, people that never did voiceover before that have been messaging me from in my past being like, hey, 
I was thinking about getting into voiceover. And I'm like, oh, is that because it's a pandemic and voiceover is like the only thing still going right now? But yeah. yeah. <laughs> Interesting timing. Okay. Yeah. This was just luck. Like, yeah. I predicted this. No. Yeah. Yeah. And like Luke's an animator. So like animation and voiceover are like the two things that were pretty easily transitionable to home. Mm-hmm. So it's been, uh, yeah, lucky, very lucky. Yep, for sure. <laughs> yeah, but it'll be an interesting time to reminisce on and be like, remember when we recorded all of these projects from our closets? Yeah. Whoa, now right. they exist forever. <laughs> yeah, remember the year we didn't leave our houses and uh, <laughs> our closets? That was, <laughs> and then we only talked over on Zoom. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I'm excited to someday see people in person again Same. and like go into a studio and have them be like, would you like some tea and some snacks? And be like, oh, not from my own kitchen. Yeah. Wow. Very exciting. <laughs> you know, I miss just like the daily small interactions with people. Me too. Like the receptionists at all the different studios. I'm like, I hope you're all okay. I don't know where you are. Are you good? <laughs> I hope they're okay. Yeah. We're just like seeing the engineers face to face. It's a different experience. Just like seeing another actor in the hall. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. <laughs> I miss, I miss it all. And all the studio dogs. I miss the studio dogs. I love the studio dogs. Gus is a lot less jealous because I don't come home smelling of other dogs anymore, but <laughs> he, Gus is like totally... I'm worried about when we go back to work because now it's been so long. I don't know that he remembers the time when we were not home all day. I'm like, I don't know what he's going to do. He's very clingy all of a sudden. Oh my gosh. (laughs) That's the real winners in this pandemic. They are. I think they're behind the whole thing. It was a conspiracy just for dogs. (laughs) Conspiracy. They had like a dog meeting last year and they were like, we've got to figure out how to get our owners to stay home. (laughs) Airborne virus. Mass disease. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Perfect. Genius. (laughs) Yeah, my cat. I mean, Jocko, I've never seen him so cuddly. Like, like we have cuddle hour at night at the same time every night. He'll like climb in my lap. But uh, now he's doing it during the day, so. Aww. Yeah. Aww. That's so cute. All pets. I heard that, like, there's been, like, a pet boom. Like, everybody has a pet now because mm-hmm. everyone was lonely. <laughs> it's, like, the perfect time to get one. Uh-huh. I mean, thinking about getting a dog. Yeah. you Honestly, you should because when you first get a dog, whether it's a puppy or a rescue or whatever, you need a certain amount of time to, like, you know, train them and get them used to everything and if you have to go to work immediately it sucks and it's really hard so now is a great time because you're home yeah exactly mm-hmm. I'm like you know what i did always want a golden retriever oh my god i love golden retrievers please get a golden retriever i want one so bad uh, yes get one and then gus can can come over and meet your dog when the pandemic's over <laughs> I'm going to have to socialize it somehow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe if you guys have a dog park you go to, I'll, I'll just randomly show up there and be like, oh, hi! <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't bring Gus to dog parks because his back legs, when he gets excited, they lock up and he falls over. Oh! My- and, and the other dogs are, like, super freaked out by it. And then poor Gus looks at me like, I don't understand why I can't run. And I'm like, you just got to calm down, buddy. You got to, like, be chill. And the vet was like, he needs a calm life. And we were like, okay. Aww. So he sees other dogs on walks a lot, and he socializes then. He'll, like, play a little bit. But he can't go to a dog park with, like, a lot of dogs because he just gets too happy. And then it's like fainting. Have you seen those fainting goats? Yes. He looks just like that. He'll, like, be running, and then he'll fall over. <laughs> it's so sad. I'm like, no. It doesn't hurt him, apparently. We've asked the vet, and we were like, is, is he in pain? And they're like, no. He just is weird, and he falls over. Oh, so. yes. Yeah. Poor baby. He's weird. He's a weirdo. That's why we got him. He's oh. our weird boy. I love our little Gus. Mm-hmm. Well. Yeah, I was, I was worried he'd have a lot more health problems, but he's, like, 
relatively, other than the randomly falling over and the bulbous eyes. <laughs> and oh, and he has like a uh, old man acid reflux, so he's on like really bland food all the time. But other than that, he's pretty healthy. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Yeah, we have to give him, like, acid reflux pills, like he's 75. <laughs> like three. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. let's give him a good life. He just yes, like he's a good boy. And he's got a lot of fans. When I was doing autographs, people wanted him to sign autographs, so I got, like, dog-friendly, child-washable paint oh. with his little paw in it. He's got little autographs. He was cute. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, he's a star. <laughs> you need to get him, like, a little headshot. I know. Well, I got to take pictures of him in this new persona collar, because I told Possonify that we would, like, do a photo shoot with it, and I'd post, and I haven't done that yet. So. <laughs> headshot. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be his new, his new, uh, I guess, headshots, yeah. <laughs> I love it. He's going to become, like, a not a studio dog, one of those um, oh. pet dogs. Yes, yes. Really He'll be an, an influencer. Or a dog <laughs> influencer, honestly. Uh huh. Should... I know. I've, everyone tells me to make him his own, like, Instagram and stuff, yeah. but I can barely keep up with my Instagram, so we have to share. <laughs> Such a stage mom. I know. <laughs> Luke called me that earlier because I was trying to make a TikTok with Gus. I'm saving it because I already did a Gus TikTok and I can't do too many in a row or people will just think it, it's a Gus TikTok. And I haven't done any of my voiceover ones that I planned and I feel like people are going to get mad at me. <laughs> so, do you. I know, but I want to I I give the people what they want. But it, not in just recording myself saying lines. I want it to be like interesting. Yeah, I get cool. it. Cool. So it takes planning. <laughs> I know. Yeah. All right, I'm going to have to check out your TikTok a little bit more. I saw some of your videos. Yes. I mean, I don't really have very many yet. <laughs> you have like a million followers, though. Well, not like a million. You have like a lot, though. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. I did like the, really? the little like, this is what I voice. And then I put characters that sound different next to each other. I think that's what did it. I think people were like, what the? And then they all shared it because they were like, wait, this one didn't sound like this one. And I'm like, mm, voiceover. <laughs> so, yeah. It's acting. The acting yeah. Can, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Acting. Director. I may be tall, but I can do voices. Exactly. Take that, acting teacher. <laughs> This one's for you. Yeah. <laughs> now at conventions, I just, like, wear heels because I'm like, whatever. Who cares? It doesn't matter how tall I am. It really doesn't. No. It's but great. It's, like, one of the reasons why I wanted to do VO. Was because There's so much freedom. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I don't really worry about, like, aging or, like, yeah. I'm old now. Or, like, yes. I know we talked about how much we loved makeup at the beginning, but, like, sometimes I don't feel like wearing it. Same. Like, I'm not oh. wearing any today. I'm just, like, I just don't feel like it today. Yes. Or that is the one great thing about the pandemic is, like, I only put on makeup when I'm streaming or, like, going to be on camera. And most of the time now, directors and engineers, they don't see me. So I'm, like, whatever. I roll out of bed in my pajamas. I got, <laughs> you know, do my little warm-ups. And then I'm ready to go. I don't need any makeup. <laughs> you have to worry about your voice. No, yeah. Pretty much every session in pajamas. Yes, which I often tell like a story about when I first thought I wanted to be a voice actor when I was like nine, because I saw an interview with a voice actor that was like, I can go to work in my pajamas. And I was like, wow, that sounds incredible. But then I never actually did it until now. And now I'm like, well, now it's a little bit sad because I'm just stuck in my house, but I get to work in my pajamas, so I did it. I fulfilled the dream. Now you're <laughs> so proud of you. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so when you were little, were you like the tall kid? No, I was super short. <gasps> I was the shortest in my class or like one of the shortest ones. You know, when we'd line up by height, I was always like at the end. Um, until 
I think like eighth grade in the summer between like either seventh and eighth or eighth and ninth, I forget. Mm -hmm. Um, but I like, I was a diver, like springboard and platform diving. Mm -hmm. And since I was so little and like really thin, my coach was like, you're too light to like move the springboard. So we need to put you on like a high protein diet so that you build like, you know, muscle and everything. And I started that diet and then I like shot up. I just got really tall and I stayed, yes. And I stayed like basically the same everywhere else. I was just really tall now and gangly. And I like, what that really like threw off all of my dives. Cause I was like, hi, I'm so much taller. All the rotations are weird. And then I was the tallest from then on. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, it was weird. And my coach was like, okay, stop. Don't, 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 don't grow anymore. <laughs> Yeah. In like three months. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It was it was so fast that I remember like bumping into cabinets and stuff because I suddenly was so tall and I like was so not used to it. It was weird. I've never had that issue. Yeah. <laughs> I was always on the shorter side. I was never the shortest one. There was actually like two boys in my class that were always really short and they were shorter than me. Oh, but, um, interesting. Yeah, in eighth grade, I was like 4'11". Mm. And then in ninth grade, I hit five feet. And I was like, okay, at least I'm five feet. <laughs> and I haven't grown since. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was when I shot past you. <laughs> like, <"Hey>, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was really weird going from like the shortest to the tallest. Everything was so... It's different, like perspective wise. Yeah, it's That's very cool. confusing. Yeah. It is weird. Like if I wear like heels and stuff like that, like I have some like really big platforms. Uh huh. If I wear huge platforms. I'm like, everything is off. Yeah, it's so different. <laughs> yeah, I'm like reaching for stuff or like right here, or, like man, but like I can like reach up. I'm like oh, I can reach that, but then like the counters further down. Yes. Yeah. The seat is further down. That's what always trips me up. If I'm sitting down, I expect to hit it here, but then I hit it here and I'm like, Oh my God. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Summer of that, but it's like permanent. Yes. And imagine you're like, you've been training for years to like do all these flips. And then all of a sudden, like it's so precise. And then suddenly your proportions are like way, you're like so much taller and that changes how the rotations go, you know? And uh, yeah, there were a lot of uh, botched dives around that time and painful landings. <laughs> so, yeah. Did you have to quit or did you just- No, I still, I still was a diver until my senior year. Um, so I had to like really relearn a lot of stuff though. And I felt like I was a little disheartened after, <laughs> after yeah. the growth spurt. Um, but I still, you know, competed. I was, I was in the like CIF finals cool. almost every year. Yeah. It was pretty cool. I actually, so I quit in like my senior year. Mm -hmm. And then about two weeks later, I got an invitation that was like, you're invited to the Olympic trials. And I laughed. I was like, Pah! And I was like, mom, look at this. This is crazy. And then I threw it away like an idiot. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you could have been an Olympian. I, well, that was my goal for so long to be an Olympian. And then I like, I just, it, I, my like passion died, you know, so I like, I quit. And then, so at the time I was so fed up with diving that I was like, that's stupid. I'm not even ready to, for the Olympic trials anyway, even if I was still diving. Bah! And I threw it away. <laughs> And now I'm like, that would have been cool to like have still, yeah. but yeah. It's okay. It's you know, all right. <laughs> in the grand scheme of things, like look where you are now. I know. I I think it was, it was the right decision. Sometimes I miss it whenever I watch the Summer Olympics. I'm like, oh, I yeah. miss that. It was fun. I, I did it for like, you know, seven, eight years of my life. So, but I definitely think it was better <laughs> to be a voice actor. Yeah. Yeah. And I definitely wouldn't have met Luke if I was an Olympian. Very so, true. yeah. Everything happens for a reason. Every, well, exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. I wouldn't have had Gus, you know. Yeah, I wouldn't have been in Persona. You would have had two Morgana plushes. I know! Great! Both of these were given to me, so it's perfect. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> 
<laughs> mine. I actually bought mine. Oh, really? Yeah. They gave you one? I'm so jealous. Yeah, they gave me one. Uh, I forget which one was from Atlas, but at AX one year, they had it, you know? And I was like, hey, can you reserve one of those? And I guess I talked to the right person because they just like handed me a bag at the end of the day and they were like, don't worry about it. And I was like, uh. Oh my gosh. I I had to reserve mine. <laughs> you need to go to the booth, though. Yeah, I went to the booth. That I think that was the... That was the difference. I had to send somebody to go for me. Oh. I think that's probably why. Yeah, I think that. The person who I sent, they had actually wanted one, and they were, like, Uh sold out for the day. But because, like, he was picking one up for me, they were like, oh, you can, like, buy one, too. Oh, that's nice. That's good. Yeah, I'm like, at least that person got, like, a plush, and they wouldn't get one, so it was That's good. Yeah, I think that's worth it. The other one, again, I forget which one. The other one was won by my friend in that like phone game where you can win real plushies that I <laughs> talked about in our Toradora panel. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I don't think I've like looked it up though. What was it called again? I don't remember. <laughs> the phone game where you win plushies. Yes. Yeah. Someone in the comments will like tell us. Okay. But oh, yeah. The phone game is. And yes. <laughs> <laughs> and she wins like so many. And she won a Morgana. I think she's meant to win a Morgana specifically for me and then sent it to me, and that was nice of her. So, yeah. It's pretty cool. <laughs> cool. Well, on that note, I feel like we've been talking for a while. Oh, yeah, it's been like an hour. Oh, my God. Yeah, so Time flies. Yeah, let's wrap it up. All right. Um, any last words you want to say? Anything you want to promote? Where can we find you, Erica? Um, well, you can find me on Twitter at, at Erica Harlicker, and you can find me on Instagram at with a K Insta, and you can find me on TikTok now at, uh, with a K Erica, <laughs> and you can find me on Twitch at with a K games. This is from a lifetime of people spelling my name with a C and still in the comments of all these things, everyone spells my name with a C and I'm like, like did you my screen name is literally with a K. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> On all these platforms. So. All right, people. Go check out Erica. Don't spell her name wrong. It's with a K. It's, with a K. it's not. It's in the happen. screen name. With a K. It's with a K. <laughs> with a K. And Cassandra yes. with a C. Yes, yes. A good combination. Subscribe. Subscribe for more. Yay! Subscribe! Bye, everybody. Ha, 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 ha.